Hi. Hi. I was, my question is, do you believe in the paranormal? Paranormal. Do, do, do I do what? Believe in the paranormal. Do I believe in the paranormal? Yes. Yes. <laughs> do you? Yes. You do? Yes. Really? Yes. <laughs> That's nuts. That <laughs> I swear. Really? Yes. One Do time they I... pay rent? No. Do they like at least split the utilities with you? No. Freeloader ghost living with you. Yes. How do you know that there's a ghost? Well, I have a fan in my room, and if you're not in the room, that fan will move. If you're in the room, it stays still. And then I had a calendar. Wait, how do you know the fan is moving if you're not there? <laughs> It's like she walks out of the room, she's like, I can tell it's moving! And then you go back and it's still, and then, okay. So I'm not yet convinced. What is your other evidence? I had a calendar that was on the wall with yep. a nail, and next thing you know, it flies off the wall and lands right next to my refrigerator. Wait, it flew off the wall? Yes. <laughs> the heckler in the front row, uh, the question was, was the fan on? Which is well played. We may have solved your, your ghost problem just now. Again, with the workshopping, this is good. I, uh, you know, <laughs> from now on, I think the panels should just be, bring your, bring your, not a, it's not a question, it's bring your problem to be solved. <laughs> up to the front and we will crowdsource a solution for you. So yeah, you just have a fan, you don't have a ghost. I'm glad we got to the bottom of that for you. And you're welcome, on, on behalf of all of us. Hi. Hi, I'm Becky. Hi Becky. No jokes about the super fan, please. Wait, Sam? Um, Becky, you have Sam over there. I know. Lizzie Borden murders took place and everything, so growing up, we had that rhyme, you know, Lizzie Borden. Where and were you the day Lizzie Borden's parents were axe murdered? That was way before my time. I'm not that old. I'm actually a couple months younger than Jensen, so I'm not that old. You're not uh, 100 years old? <laughs> I know that. But growing up, we always had that rhyme, you know, Lizzie Borden took an axe and gave her mother 40 wax, and when she saw what she had done, she gave her father 41. And so growing up, that was always like, I had nightmares. So I'm just curious, when I saw you guys were doing Thin Lizzy, I actually was almost afraid to watch it. But I want to know, what did you guys know about it before you started filming it? Did you know anything about the, the lore and what happened? I, yeah, I knew the basic. I knew that rhyme, I knew she was accused of killing parents, and I knew that she shared a birthday with somebody named Jared Padalecki, so... Oh. So be careful. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's what I knew. Same. I, I knew the general, the, 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 the gist of it, and uh, but yeah, it was kind of cool. They actually brought in um, a whole bunch of actual stuff, a set deck from the Lizzie Borden uh, place because they, 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 you know, have all those trinkets and stuff. So. And then some people from the actual Bed and Breakfast Museum yeah. were like, "Hey, if y'all want to come up, we'll shut it down for y'all. Y'all can stay where y'all want. We'll shut it down." So if we make so it, we're all river, going. Yeah. <laughs> So we just stayed uh, recently in a, uh, a very old army barracks uh, hotel. It's a hotel now, but it used to be an old army barracks. And it was like old. And we walked in and my, Daniel had gone in first. I was unloading the car. She comes walking out. She's like, it's haunted. It's haunted. It's haunted. It's haunted. It's haunted. And I'm like, do I need to go inside? She's like, go. Oh, I'm telling you, it's haunted. And so I go walking inside, and it's creaky and old, and it has that old musty smell. And, and I'm like, you're yeah, must. Yeah, you? it probably is. It's a good thing you got me.
Thank you. Those are people back. Hi. I was just wondering, would you guys ever be willing to work with someone in a wheelchair? <laughs> what? Why would we not be willing to work with somebody in a wheelchair? Well, Absolutely. <laughs> Would you be willing to work with two big, obnoxious Texans? Yeah, I would. Yeah. <laughs> the reason I'm wondering is because this wheelchair that I'm sitting in, up until about a month ago, it was making what we call demonic noises. <laughs> well, you didn't say that. Um, story just changed. <laughs> it wasn't making demonic noises, but it was making like really weird noises. And Lori and I were joking that we would have to call you guys to come hunt with us. Alright, we'll do what we can do. Okay, awesome, thank you. Let me uh, bring Ruby's knife before, uh, before I approach the demonic wheelchair. Awesome, that would be great. Yeah. And I'll just bring some oil. Okay, awesome, thank you. Okay, 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 Hi, I love all you guys, but my question's for Ruth. Uh, I love that setup. That's like my favorite. <laughs> As a, a pagan, when, when I first started watching Star Wars, I was like, this is amazing. Like, I love witch characters, so I'm just wondering if other witches have uh, reached out to you to thank you for portraying a good yeah. witch character. Yeah. <laughs> it's a whole world out there I didn't know about it from there, and I, I'm going to tell you something really weird that I did recently. Oh, good. Really Love weird. Ours. Okay, so my friend goes to see a fortune teller, and it's a little Spanish village, and you got to sleep with an egg under your head and an egg under your bum. And then you take the eggs, then she packs the eggs into the cup and she eats your eggs. <laughs> I mean, oh, so they're, they're just normal eggs, not hard boiled? Just, just no, not hard boiled, so you don't, under your bed. How long? Do you have to sleep on them? Just, just like for one night, and then you take How do you do it without cracking it? They're under your bed. Under the bed. Uh, not under your mattress, just okay. under your, your bed. And then the lady there went in to get my eggs red. <laughs> I need my head red. Uh, and, um, I said to her, I, I play a witch on television. She checks your aura and all that, and she said my aura was clear. I said, I just want to be careful because I work with, in the show called Supernatural, and there's all these sim symbols and sigils and witchcraft, and I just want to check I'm all right. And she's like, you're fine, you're clear. Nobody's hex you. I was entirely relieved. Uh, yeah, so I have definitely been looking more into the whole, everything around it, and I am fascinated. Absolutely fascinated. And um, a couple of the ladies we worked with in the campaign recently went to Salem, and so they were sending pictures. And I just went to New Orleans, and I went to visit the Voodoo store. Yeah, yeah, I went to, I went to the Voodoo store in New Orleans, it's Marie Laveau's Voodoo store. And um, I went in, and it's full, full of people and full of things you can buy, paraphernalia and, and stuff, and um, magic in it. And um, this man with crystal clear blue eyes, who was the psychic reader of the store, he went, no, 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 and I went, oh my god, right, and he went, you're not Rowena, are you? <laughs> and I was so relieved, it wasn't just that he was reading some news. Uh, but anyway, and he turns out he's a massive fan of the show, and he's like, he's one of the top guys in the, yeah, so anyway, yeah, so I don't, I don't think that answers your question, but that's what I've got. <laughs> How weird would it be if, like, while we're filming this show, like, the props people, the art people, accidentally come across a real spell? And, like, we're just doing it on, on Mark, and it's like, ha ha! And it's, like, real? Jared reels off his Latin, like, and it's, the words are real, right? Yeah. What if Jared says a real incantation one? I right? think he has. <laughs> you should ask him. What if somebody has been under a spell the this whole time? What, what is an illusion? <laughs> and I'm actually in the show. <laughs> But think about it, it could be real. He says it through the TV, it's like the hypnotoad on Futurama. <laughs> and you're like, I'm the best man. Okay. I'm sure, I'm not like he is the hypnotoad. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Hi. Hi. So my question is, you said that the Winchester brothers are cursed. Do you think it has anything to do with the fact that all the mirrors were broken in Bloody Mary? <laughs> Yes, but that would have only lasted for seven seasons. <laughs> uh, that's true. Yeah. So we're out of that period now. It must have been something else a while ago. That's why it's been rosy since uh, season eight, right? <laughs> right? That's pretty funny. I never thought about that. We brought multiple mirrors. So we did. It, did they compile? Yeah. You break two? Oh, it's so for every mirror you break is in the seven years? Oh. Uh, Oh yeah, no, then we're, we're screwed. That's... I think you nailed it. Stop breaking mirrors and this show could end before you're 97. <laughs> it could end on a happy note. There you go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Woo! <laughs> the mirror thing's behind us. Supernatural. <laughs> the senior years. <laughs> many... Do you know how many we broke? A lot, right? I, if I remember correctly, it was more Sam that broke them. <laughs> Just saying. That's why you can't have nice things. Yeah, that's why we, that's why we don't have nice things. That's true. Uh, Hi. Hi. Um, my question is, has anything supernatural ever happened on set? Uh, yes, as a matter of fact. Um, we were sitting in the Impala. It was me and Jared and Jensen. And... There was, we were, we're doing, we're shooting the scene inside the studio, and they do this weird thing with lights that's, it's called the poor man's process, which is sort of something that we kind of perfected on Supernatural that's been replicated on other shows, but it looks like you're driving by lights and things, but it's just somebody rocking the car from behind. And it's it's uh, very high tech. <laughs> and we were sitting in there, there was a mist on the going on the on the windshield and the windows um, from guys that had little sprayers. So because it was raining, the wipers were on. And we were shooting a scene, and all of a sudden, the hairs kind of stood up on the back of my neck because there was a truly otherworldly smell. <laughs> that could not have been from the earthly realm. <laughs> and I knew that uh, some sort of supernatural monster <laughs> farted in the car. <laughs> Did all the detail and the setup help? <laughs> <laughs> or was that supernatural? 